hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of building with sausage this is mythical sausage here hello what is up how is everybody doing man we are back again doing another biome build this starter house is gonna be fun i can't i can't wait to start it out but we've done a couple uh, so far we've done the taiga we've done the desert We've done the jungle, we've done the savannah. So if you guys want to check out those starter houses and those biomes, just check out the little link in the description. There's a playlist. Just go down that one and have some fun. We have some really cool builds down there. And today, if you notice, right behind us, we are in a forest biome. I haven't done a forest biome build in a very long time. This area is pretty cool. Look at this area right here. Beautiful little forest. We got some of the uh, lovely birch. We got some of the oh birch. <laughs> uh, we got some, <laughs> we got some oaks, and we got that's it. There's oak and birch all the way around. But we'll make it work. I'm gonna use some birch. I promise. And you see it right there, stripped birch. It's just a beautiful block right now in 113. It's amazing. But. We're not touching that zebra birch. That you're not gonna tell me. No, I'm gonna touch that. Don't worry about it. Uh, but uh, we're gonna start working on this right now. But let me know in the comment section what biomes you guys want me to do next. So many biomes. Oh man, I can't wait. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do some ocean stuff. Go underwater. Do some ocean, warm ocean, cold ocean, whatever ocean. Maybe something in a coral reef. We also got uh, some a snowy biome. Maybe somewhere in the ice, uh, icicle place. What's it called? The ice one. Uh, we we got so many other uh, possibilities but let me know in the comment section what biome you want me to do next and we'll probably do it on the next one okay but let's start this out right now so we're gonna go with these blocks so these are typically everything you can find in this biome right now we got oak of course i'm gonna bring this drip birch like you saw we're gonna bring the oak family all the way around i even bring some birch fence in there uh and then infested stone break what are you doing in there I, whatever i'll keep it uh and we're bringing some stone because definitely you can just mine down a couple blocks and then you probably get it right here where is it it's somewhere down there that's granite Ew. Um, okay, hold on. Let's cover that up. Okay, so let's start building this starter house. Uh, and we're going to typically make it not too crazy, not too big, very starter worthy, something you can build maybe in your first, second night uh, on your world. So let's start this up. So this is how I'm thinking about starting this here. I've made a little clearing here, perfect for this. So let's drop a block down. We're going to put a loggy log right here. Give it a space of three. Loggy log right here. Give it a space. Let's go this way. Let's do a space of one, two, three again. Loggy log right there. Space of three again. Log right here. Okay, now come this way. Let's go to this one. We're going to do a space of three again. Log here. Turn it to the side. Space of three again. Log right there. Space of three here. Log it right here. And then we're going to go in between right here in the middle. Space of three on both sides. And we're going with this cool little uh, L shape kind of whatever. It's cool. Uh, and then I'm thinking right here on the side give it a space of two so one two pop a log here pop a log here and pop a log here so this is the actual look to the house so i love it, it looks so cool so down here on the side i'm gonna put like a little bit of crops just a little bit just a little starter uh area for croppage uh the main house is gonna go over here so for the main house let's just raise this up i'm gonna go right from here from this log we're gonna go up by this is already one so two three four that's it one two three four so i'm gonna bring up all these logs by four right here until we get all the way around to the side and i'm not gonna touch the one on the outside the one where the crops are gonna go you leave that right there don't worry about it i'll show you later uh so up by four on all of these right here that's our look to it so next up Let's give it a nice little border of a mix of uh, stone, infested stone brick. That's going to bother me. Hold on. Uh, stone. I don't want nothing infested in this house. It's brand new. I don't want to break it. Uh, uh, there we go. So regular stone brick. So let's do a mix of stone brick and cobble. Just like this. Randomize. Boom. Like that. Random. It doesn't have to be exactly like me. You just randomize it like this. Let's do something like that. Bam. Uh, boom, boom. There we go. All the way around, like so. And then over here, same thing. Leave the middle. Ooh, what is that? Leave the middle one like that open. We're going to put a door in here, okay? Now, we're going to grab our strip birch. And we're going to be uh, putting strip birch and mixing it with the uh, regular oak. Just like this, random. Let's do something like that. Twist it up. So something like this. Just a couple, okay? And then right on the tippy top, I'm going to do cross beam right here on that side. This looks too patterny. See this? I don't like like this let's mix it up something like this they kind of like wasted around oh like whatever this let's, let's let's mix the uh, materials up uh, so something like this uh let's just lift them all up i'm gonna put windows at the end uh so something like that see broken pattern just something that's really cool like that uh let's do something like this and again you don't have to do it exactly like me let's just play around with it um I did a cross beam here. I should do cross beams on all of these, but I kind of like the way that feels now. Let's leave the cross beam 
let's leave the cross beam there but over here i just want to go all the way up with it this looks really really cool something like that that looks awesome so let's do it on all of these and then we'll pop in the windows after so let's go like this boom 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 oh that looks so cool i love it when a random panel looks so nice and random uh so we're gonna go off like this maybe something like that and then just randomize the whole thing so let's go like this maybe turn that on its side maybe go like that oh hello block you're going the wrong place there we go oh that looks nice and then we go like this like see randomize boom boom oh hello block you're going the wrong place uh let's go bum and bum that looks a little weird i don't know i don't like that one let's do uh let's do something like that oh perfect hello uh so we're going around and keep it up keep doing it let's go like this bam and bam all right cool so we did that that looks really really cool i like that okay now let's work on something very simple we're gonna work on right now uh let's do i want right here in this corner i want to put a little um like a little chimney fireplace thingy uh that'll be pretty cool i think i'm gonna put it right here up in this corner uh make it very small something like this a little one and then we can just go up randomly with any one of these this is go up like that i'm just gonna take it up so this is one two three four five six let's leave it for six at six for now we might increase that and we're definitely gonna detail it uh but first off let's just leave it just like that make it simple all right to start it out now i'm gonna work on a little roof again this is a starter house we're gonna make it very tiny so let's actually grab this is what i'm planning on for the roof okay uh i'm gonna go with oak all the way around just oak okay so let's do like this like that boom like this we're coming down this way and leave it right there in this corner we're gonna come this direction too and we're gonna go like this okay uh over here i want to do a little overhang thing thing but we'll do it after for now let's just go all the way down this direction boom uh actually you know what i'm thinking you want to see something cool watch let me show you guys something cool stop it right here right here okay stop it right you stop it right here now let's do a little upside down stair right about there that looks good now let's bring this down okay watch this let's see if i can work this out lovely let's do a little upside down stair here and here do you see that you pretty much upside down stair right here on this log upside down stair here on this log leave it like that i'm gonna do something real cool i promise okay now come with me let's take this all the way down this direction uh and then once we get to here we're gonna pop it out okay let's do a little upside down and upside down if you notice these upside down stairs on this log and on this one they're also on this log so we're gonna work out a cool little pattern okay but first off let's come over here let's do another little upside down stair here upside down stair here and we're gonna go up normally gradually small uh roof we're not gonna go with nothing too big again it's a starter house we're making it nice and lovely something like this and then upside down stair and then let's put a slabby right on the tippy top just like that okay come with me we're gonna do another one here you see this stair where we did upside down let's go regular here let's go regular one here let's do it upside down here and here upside down here and here and we're gonna do another upside down right there and a slab right there oh baby you know what i want to do with this log you see that i mean this log this stair flip this one on its side so it has a nicer curve to it i like that that looks really really cool now let's come back this direction and we're gonna do the same thing again same roof pattern we did over there we're gonna do it over here so let's go upside down on everything regular on everything and then we're gonna do a little upside down stair and a slam on top so that's the the roof pattern all the way around now let's do this i'm gonna go down regular with these stairs let's go all the way around swinging it all the way around like this coming around the other side i'm going to connect everything uh, together like a so watch this i'm going to connect that this is going to come back this way hi stair you went the wrong way uh let's go all the way down like this look at that sheep okay we're going to keep going uh this direction just connect all this is going to connect to that this little roof part is actually going to connect to the mi i missed everything it's going to connect to this middle part right here like so okay and then let's come this way we're gonna go all the way down like this all the way down like this and connect all the roof uh bits all the way around like this bam okay now here we're just gonna grab slabs and we're gonna go all the way down like so and then all the way down like oh that missed that one all the way down like so come on come on thing there we go look how simple and cute this is okay now another thing that i want to do is right here we could actually do what we said we were going to do with the other thing let's do that let's just even though it looked kind of cool like that let's put cross beams on all of these and then on the inside part here i'm just going to go with the strip just by itself right on the top and give that little cover-up job there so let's do it over here it actually makes sense now it, it, i like the way that all these were connected three high up but i think like this will look even better so we're just going to cover this up put a cross beam right here at that level and then we're going to do nothing but stripped 
on the tippy top right about uh, where'd that go oh wait there we go <laughs> so strip logs right around there that looks awesome now with this little chimney thing uh let's go up again let's go up actually one and two more so if you count total it's one two three four five six seven eight okay let's grab a wall uh let's put the wall right on the tippy top just like that simple don't do nothing else now down here i'm gonna put a full block full block okay let's grab a stair here and a stair here that looks awesome and i think that's it i don't want to do too much that looks just just neat lovely okay so let's leave that there i'm gonna put a little upside down stair right here and we're gonna have our entry here for our door this looks so awesome okay now let's go out here for a second let's work on this little thing where we're gonna do right around here and i'm gonna do a little overhang so let's grab a uh a slab and i'm gonna go with the slab out from here one and a two one two one two one two all the way around like this and once we get to this part i think probably the best thing to do is maybe take this piece out Let's put a full block here, and then I'm going to go one, two. And I think I'm just going to take it to there. That's it. And then let's grab a couple wall, and then let's grab a fence. And then this is going to connect right about here. Let's see. Ooh, this looks awesome. I kind of like this. Okay, this looks really, really cool. Uh, now, another thing we could do is, see, we have this one. Um, so we can still do some stuff with that little piece. Uh, if we do connect everything, this is how it would look. Let's see. What do you guys think? I don't know. Let's see. If we connect all these, I think that's a good job there. I think that's a good thing right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're doing that. I, I was going to go just make a little cross little section there, but I think this is it. Let's put that down, and let's put that wall down right there, and that fence. Oh, baby. Yes, yes, yes. That is awesome. Okay, now, uh, is this going over the edge? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Now, to make this a little more protected, what I'm thinking is let's get some gates. And let's get with the birch right here for a second. Uh, humor me for a moment. Uh, we're going to put our door to get in. That's our little gate door. And over here, we're just going to fence everything up all the way down like this. And we can put a double gate. One in the front and one in the back. One here, one there. So that's our way in and out of this little area. Uh, and it's looking lovely because now we can put a bunch of crops down there. And we'll save that for in a little bit. So let's do something now. So here... No windows needed because we have uh, the chimney chim uh, thing thing. Window here for sure. So let's knock these two down. Let's put a stair right there. Let's get a glass. Let's get, I don't know. I'm thinking, what if we just use, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with white glass. I don't, I've always liked the white glass. It's really, really cool. I'm going to go with a simple white glass. You can use any glass you want. You can even use trap doors uh, for those sections there. Uh, I think here we could definitely use another one and another one. So let's put a stair here. Oh, what is that gate doing there? Stair, <laughs> stair, glass, and glass. And then we have this looking very cool. I love this thing. This is looking awesome. Now, let's come inside here for a moment. Let's see what we got to work with in here. So first off, let's get rid of this little thing down here. Let's get rid of all this nasty old grass. And then I'm going to use for flooring. You know what? How about... Just for the people who love it, and I apologize I never use it. Let's use birch. Let's use our birch planks. Come on now. Uh, let's see if I don't... Okay, that's fine. The only thing, really, I'm not a, a hater of birch like most people think. I do hate the log, though. But the planks and all the other stuff that's not that stripey uh, zebra print thing right there. I like everything else. It's okay. So that floor looks cool. Look at all this space we have here. Uh, so this space you can use for multiple things. Uh, one thing I want to do is though, I want to knock this out so everything looks... <laughs> uh, uh, uniform symmetrical so let's put all of these even though you can't see them you can see them on the inside boom oh let's take these out too all right let's do that so we're just replacing those back up okay now for this we got so much space to do so many things you can even make a second floor if you want um if you do, do if you do do <laughs> if you do a second floor um probably the best thing to do best way to do it let's do cross beams right here a little cross beam right here Let's do for second floor. I'm gonna go with uh, let's see, let's go with slabs of oak this time, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up. So let's do right here this level cover, cover, cover job right here, cover job right there. We could do a cover job right here, and really, there's not a lot of space though but you could work with it uh i think up here the only thing that i would use it for uh you could use a bedroom i think but mm, the only problem i see is there's really no space um you could maybe put a bed right here you'll be safe uh and then chest all the way underneath because that way chest could definitely open up in this uh as far as a way up the only way 
you could do way up here. Hmm. It's going to be difficult because you don't have a lot of space to get up. The only place to get up here. You know what? This is this is not a lot of space. Um, you, uh, only place is right here. This is it. This is the only way up that you don't have a window. You're not going to get involved with any hitting of the heads. Okay. So let's put a ladder here. Uh, and then you can definitely make a way up right in here. So down right there and then that's your way up You can even do a little trap door action, whatever. That's a way up right there uh, As far as this part watch this I would definitely just knock this out right here uh, And then this part could be where the uh, Your cooking area would be and then you could use this uh, Chim and a chim 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 thing here uh, and then make it uh, you know built in so you can grab a furnace uh, and then I could do you you know what do you could even do a double furnace uh, right here uh, right here on the top I would do a little upside down stair and that'll be your kitchen area uh, You could even do something Like this kind of block it off uh, Get some gates and maybe do something really cool like that as this is like your little kitchen separation area And that looks really really cool uh, Besides this you can even have some crafting uh, benches you can have your cauldron action uh, and then you can also maybe throw in a couple chests back here and that'll be just lovely let's see drop that here maybe a little cauldron actually no cauldron here there we go drop that you can even do double that thing uh, maybe one of these could be a chest and then you know what you could even do let's get a trap door and we'll go with the oaks go with the simple stuff and then maybe do something like this and then up here you could do even more uh, I know you're not gonna probably have a brewing stand, but you could throw a brewing stand up there uh, Especially at the beginning you're not gonna have it, but you know what save it for later and that'll be your little kitchen section uh, Let's grab also a torch because you can't see nothing. Hey, I'm sorry you, you haven't been able to see nothing for the last five minutes, but that's fine um, Maybe right here will look pretty good little item frame action right about here and Boop and maybe even here throw a little trap door right there if you've made it this far, you had a bunch of cakes available. I wouldn't even, you know, hesitate. Drop a little cake right there. Drop a little pressure plate, maybe of. Let's see. How about just an oak pressure plate? Drop that like a little plate right there. Uh, and then over here, uh, you can have a little seating area. Let's get some stairs. It help? No, not that one. Well, give me a birch. Give me a birch chair. I'm not scared no more. Uh, we can do a little birch chair action. Maybe something like this. Maybe something like that. Uh, maybe a little fence in the middle. Uh, this one we could do oak. Uh, let's drop a fence right there. Grab that pressure plate one more time right there. Get some signage. And maybe we could do a little signage action. Maybe something like that and uh, that. Over here, you know what? Um, I'm not even... Uh, you probably won't do this because it's too expensive. But you could throw a little thing thing like that. Grab a little bit of water. And then we can throw in here uh, a nice little plant action. I don't know. This might look pretty cool. Uh, let's throw regular oak right on top of that. So we go bam and bam. That looks so cool. Uh, on this side, we could throw in maybe... Oh, oh high pressure plate. I sat on you. Um, that's fine. Um, <laughs> all right, now let's do a little shelving unit maybe. Actually, let's do a small shelf right there, like a little one. Uh, maybe we could do a double. I think it might be even cooler. There we go little shelf action right here you can even grab another chesty chest maybe throw one up right here uh, and you know what it's pressure plate shush um, you could do a little pot, pot where's my potted plants potted plants where are you I should just there I, I was gonna type it out but I'm you know what I'm lazy let's throw that little thing right on top let's throw a, uh, a birch sap because we're birch lovers now uh, maybe a little paint job oh, give me a paint painting Paint job, paint and paint. Here we go. Uh, let's throw maybe one right there. Oh, that's an ugly one. There we go. That's a pretty one right there. Uh, and then we still have a little bit of room. Maybe we could throw a little bit of bookshelf in action. Uh, have some fun with it. Maybe, you know what? Maybe do a little bookshelf uh, right about there. Throw another uh, potted plant action. Uh, or maybe even another chest because at the beginning whenever you have your starter house you're gonna have chests everywhere so might as well just go crazy with it and all these could be useful useful for stuff like over here you can have nothing but food items and stuff like that uh, over here you can have nothing but maybe um, just your, uh, quick like whenever you come in your house you throw your keys in just regular random junk 
Over here, you can have stuff relating to books and enchanted books, stuff like that, maybe uh, tools and such. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, and then upstairs, you can have uh, armor and stuff like that. This is in your bedroom. Uh, and just random bulk storage. Uh, just go crazy. Uh, and then here we go. Bam. Okay, that's nice. This is looking very cool. Maybe another torch action right here with a little bam and another little, let's see, let's throw in. Hello, uh, that uh, gravity worked weird. Uh, so that looks awesome. Maybe even another uh, painting right here, a little quad. I think the quad ones will look pretty. Oh, we can't put this thing in there. That looks nice anyways, that's fine. Uh, how about a top, tall one, a tall boy? There we go, that's awesome. So this is looking really cool. Uh, you can even throw a little bit of carpet action. I say down here, you know what? Let's throw some cyan. Cyan doesn't get as much love as it used to. Let's give it some cyan love right here on the floor. Ooh, that looks nice right there. Uh, and that's about it. So we're done with this floor. Uh, let's get to the tippy top over here. Definitely do a little bed action. Let's throw in, um, how about, you know what? How about a yellow bed? Let's throw, that, I didn't even grab the bed, did I? That's fine. Let's grab a little bed action. I'm gonna throw that bed right in the middle. That should be fine. You can get up and down there. Don't worry about it. Uh, in here, down here. Uh, let's see, you could do nothing but chests, watch this. Nothing but chests, right there. Bam, bam, nothing but chest action. Uh, maybe even right here, right there, right there. And I think you could even go bam and bam. Oh, look at this, chest on chest everywhere. That's awesome. Um, you can even sneak one in here, why not? Let's have this whole section into storage. Uh, in case you need it, I would even put over here a crafting bench right here in case you need some crafting. You can even do double crafting, hide that in the back. Put a little torch and torch right here so no mobs can spawn and eat your face while you're sleeping. You know, that's like the worst thing that could happen to you. Uh, put one here, put one over here, throw that in there, drop a little thing thing. There we go. So we have chests all over. Let's put a little trap door so you don't fall down and hurt yourself. Put another chest, another, uh, uh, what's this thing called? Uh, torch. So torch everywhere. You're fine. You're safe. Uh, and then maybe even throw another bit right there. If anything, if you can't afford it, I'll just put a little enchanting somewhere here. Maybe like one, uh, you know what? You can even sneak it in right here in this corner. That looks perfect. And use this as you wish. You can even put some carpet down. Uh, go crazy. Let's get, let's get some orange in here. Uh, and then we can just throw a little bit of orange carpet. Hello. All the way down. And just go crazy. Have fun with it. There we go. So that's your little section over here. Bulk storage for your first starter house. Lovely, lovely. Uh, let's throw a door in here. I'm gonna go with a regular old fashioned old oak door. Drop that in here. Lovely. Now over here, as far as the outside, let's grab a hoe. Uh, the greatest tool in all of Minecraft, the hoe. Uh, and then let's grab some seeds. And then, you know, just so you can see how pretty it looks, let's grab some bone meal so you can see it. Uh, let's also grab a little bit of water. Uh, and then we'll drop something down and maybe even we could do a little stair trick uh, Maybe with uh, this bad boy right here uh, Another thing. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's just grab this fast so we can go down here Let's go with T T T T T T T T all the way down right here bum, 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 bum. There we go. C T T T T T T go crazy with the seeds. Let's go Cut. get out of here You better stay there and then let's bone meal it up and I'll show you where you can throw in your water hide it uh, it's fine. You'll see. You know what? You can even do this if you really wanted just to have fun with it. Let's put, just throw a little water in there. I don't know where that went. Is it in there? Hi, you're in there. Um, this looks weird because it's in there. So let's just do, uh, that's fine. And that pretty much will hydrate this whole area. And you don't even need to do that stair trick I was going to do. And I, I, if anything, I'll show you how you do it anyway. But just in case. And then there we go. So we have this little area looking lovely. If anything, you're definitely gonna need a torch in here because you don't want nothing to spawn around this area. So why don't we just do this? Uh, give me that trap door back, bam. And then we can just throw a torch right here. Throw a little item frame trick and bam. And then also another thing you could do uh, is this. Let's go with maybe even like right here. Uh, you can even randomize it. You, uh, just grab a chest. If you need to put uh, a spot for seeds, extra storage for for whatever crops you're using, you definitely have this, and it could be opened up. Super lovely, easy to access, and you have these blocks, so you don't have to mess with it. So that's looking awesome. Let's take a quick little spin. Another thing you can do is definitely can mess the house up, and I'm known to do that from time to time. You can definitely mess it up. I think I might leave it plain, but you know what? This is how it looks like plain. All right. Let me show you how you what you can do to make it a little bit more unique, so it's not just simple straight lines going up. Uh, let's grab our full planks 
And let's grab some slab. Uh, and then this is what you could do to mess this roof up. So it could be a little more unique. Uh, let me show you. So some of these you could do full block. Something like this. Oh, the only thing you might mess with some of these stairs. So I won't do it too much on the tippy top. But you could mess with this. Oh, that not, not that one. Let's do uh let's do this. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know, let's don't mess with that one. Let's see. We could we can mess with this one. Uh something like this, put a little slab action. Boom. Look how cool. And then maybe even you could even do one right here. This one, since it is a uh, we can actually put a full block here because since this it's okay. That's just a, a little enchanting station. That's fine. And then maybe something like that. And you have little holes in it too. Uh, we can even throw a little bit of bush action. So something like this. Even take that out and throw a little bush that goes down. Something like that. That looks really, really awesome. Uh, you can even throw one that goes in and around the back like so. That looks so cool. See, just adding a little bits of detail like that. There it is. Look how cool that is. And then some of these, again, keep breaking it up. Maybe right here, maybe one of these. You could definitely do it there because it's a, a crafting bench there. You don't have to mess with it. You can even make this a double and then maybe make one of these a single block like that or even do something like that. Little crafting bench is popping up on the side. Uh, so you can mess around with stuff like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Maybe some of these go like that. Oh, like this is looking really, really cool. And then just mess around with it. Just have uh, make it your own. Have fun with it. Uh, and it'll make it for an interesting build. So it's not one flat row of stairs going all the way down. So you don't have to do it exactly where I'm doing it. The little pop-ins and stuff like that. I'll play around with it. See if you can have fun with it. And some of these you could definitely do like bam and then bam. There it is. Uh, let's see. Another one like right here. Even though that's exposed, that's fine. Uh, something like that. You can see a little hole right there. That's so cool. Make it broken. Beat it up. Uh, and then maybe another one right about there. And I think I can't sneak one in there. Hold on. Maybe I can sneak one in right there. There we go. And I don't want to put a full block there because then you can't open the chest. So something like that. That looks really, really cool. Uh, let's do another quick little break job. Maybe over here we could do... See, you can't do full block there because you'll mess with the whole thing. Maybe one right here and something like that. Uh, break that in. There we go. That's awesome. Do another one right about here. Let's do a full block. And some of these could be full blocks too. Maybe this one could be a stair now that is kind of twisted up. There we go. That looks cool. Uh, let's see. Let's take this one away. Let's do a little full block. Oh, that looks awesome. And let's see. To be beat it up a little more, I think maybe just one more little piece right there. Should do the trick. Uh, and then some of these you can actually twist it up. There we go. That looks lovely. So now it's a little more beat up. So it's a little more your own. So that's cool. So we have this little bush here. How about we throw a little bit of bush on this side? Right here, on this exposed little piece. And maybe break it through. That goes down like that. Oh, that looks awesome. Maybe another... The bush is actually inside right now. <laughs> that's cool. And we can even maybe break this little piece. Have it kind of swing down this direction. So it's kind of overgrown in the house. That looks awesome. I love that. Look at that piece. Uh, you can even throw maybe another one right here that kind of goes through here. And maybe swings in around the side like this, maybe. Let's see. Something like that. There we go. Oh, that looks awesome. Maybe take this little piece out too. Oh, that looks so cool. And it kind of sneaks in from there. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice. Uh, and then on the floor, you can definitely add a little bit more life to it. Maybe something over here on this end. Just kind of overtaking this little area. Uh, you can even throw maybe a little bit on the side like so. And then maybe a little more like down here in the corner just to add a little more detail uh, i'm not gonna go with too many more details on this you could definitely go crazy have like stairs like here on the bottom uh, around the side but you know what i'm gonna leave it plain just to keep that nice look to it that looks pretty cool i like the way that feels but you know what that's all there is to it <laughs> hopefully you guys did enjoy this little episode i love this build this came out really really cool i love it so much Oh, man. But, you know, I'm out of here for now. Let me know what other builds you want me to do, what biomes you want me to go to, and we'll probably go on the next one. I've got a couple more ideas that you guys have told me in the comment section, so I'm keeping that in my back pocket, and we're going to use it coming up very, very soon. But thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Houses. See you guys later. Goodbye.